Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be reviewing a small pocket knife, but we have a special guest, my son. How are we doing today? All right, so this knife I came across on um, a very popular app called Timu or Temu. How are we? We'll discuss that later. Hold on. So yeah, I, I came across that on Temu or Timu, however, however you say it. This is probably the smallest uh, pocket knife that I've seen, or I would say the most durable. Check it. Alright, so, there it is. I mean, it's like a keychain pocket knife. Uh, it, it's very generic. It looks very generic. Um, hold on. You can't hold it yet, but give me, give me a second. So, very generic, right? Keychain, whatever. It has a little flipping, <coughs> flipping mechanism. He's he's very, very impatient. He's very anxious on, on acquiring and holding these these weapons. But please, bear with me. So yeah, very very small. I did notice something though. It kind of caught my eye. It's this D1 blade. Now, if you know anything about D1s, D1 blades are more for. I know. Yeah. I know. It's crazy. D1 blades more for like um, it's steel that's made with uh like at construction sites they use that type of steel. I forgot the number of it, but it's, it's you know if you go online and do some research, you can find some interesting facts. Yeah, yep. In particular, this one, very very solid solid blade, right? Uh, and that's what caught my eye. I believe it was like six bucks for this. Oh no no it was what was it? Yeah, it was six bucks. I don't know, was it five bucks? Yeah, something like that. It doesn't. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't have it as an EDC. I would have it like on a keychain or like this little backup pocket knife, however you call it. Um, and it's his size. Obviously, I'm not gonna have him hold it, but I mean, you can tell, very very small. Now, there's nothing too crazy about this knife. Again, the only thing is, is the blade. And I tested it out a lot of times. Obviously, you know. <laughs> Just like him, I'm very impatient when it comes to these doing this type of stuff and testing blades out. Yeah, and clearly there's no branding, nothing like that. Um, obviously it's it's made in China. So enough talk. You can find this link down below. Uh, purchase it on Timu. Timu, how you say it? So of course we're gonna test out the blade. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use this very very simple thin cardboard Gerber. And it's like butter. I mean, this thing, this thing cuts, and it holds up pretty good. Common sense would tell you to not have the uh, your finger below this little notch right here. Okay, have it above it. Obviously, you don't want to full, you know, full grip it. Kind of, it's it's a small blade, right? So two fingers. Oh, two fingers at most, right? Two fingers at most. And cut it. And you can see how smooth that thing is, and that thing is just, I, I mean, it's good little, good little blade, good little blade. Bam, it's true, and just sliding it. Now, of course, obviously I can't test out, you know, boxes on top of boxes on top of boxes, but I would say, I will say that this blade does hold up, holds up pretty good. Is it an actual D1 blade? I'm not too sure it, it says it, but... You, know, you can put something on anything and say it is what it is, and it is what it isn't. If you want to be featured in his videos, you have to show your face. I know, I know, but you can't hold it. Now keep in mind, every blade and pocket knife is good until it isn't. Now the ones that are good are obviously the ones that are more the more expensive ones. They're trusted brands. They're expensive. I would say like around like the fifty dollar between fifty and hundred dollar range. Those are the good ones. These cheap ones, um, it's a hit or miss. Usually it's a miss, but in this case I'm confident in this blade that it's a hit, and it doesn't break the bank. If you're looking for a a, a, a very very small pocket knife, kind of just to uh, you know cut boxes or open packets, whatever. This is a blade you want. Again, it'll hold up for how long? I'm not too sure. Um, Timbo is very. I get very. Uh, sketchy and very skeptical about products on there but if you have any good skills on sharpening knives then this is the one for you 
So with that being said, do you have anything to add on to this video? All right. Don't mind him. He just he just got done uh, eating lunch. Now he's teething, so he's um. All right. Well, there you have it for this Timu knife. Uh, again, link will be down below. Go ahead and purchase it. I think it was under ten bucks. So either way, test it out. You won't break the bank. And yes, like you said, you will be pretty happy. Anyways, this is Gun Trails. I'm Jimmy signing out. See you in the next one.